November 1944. One of the uh, early interesting Foo Fighter reports comes from the 415th Night Fighter Squadron. They're flying missions over northeastern France. That's not far from Germany. And this is still in Nazi-occupied part of France, where you've got uh, a number of lights, eight, 10, 12 lights coming in on the left of the aircraft group that are apparently maneuvering in a very unusual way and then just take off at a very high rate of speed. This type of thing was reported many times. The pilots often described these objects were sort of fuzzy lights. It could be a plasma light that would come up from the ground towards the airplane. And we know that now because there have been reinvestigations of all the fires. At the time, of course, there was no Air Force. It was the Army Air Force. They were taking reports from pilots very, very seriously. Because if there was a new German weapon, all the pilots needed to know about it, and they needed to think about evasive action. These objects were called different things at the time before they got a name, and the name that stuck was Foo Fighters. And it comes from a comic strip that was popular at the time called Smokey Stover. And he had a saying, which was, where there's a foo, there's fire. The U.S. government has never offered an explanation for the Foo Fighters. We know that the OSS, which was the precursor of the CIA, investigated. We know that British intelligence investigated this, and we don't have conclusions. Dr. Hynek, he was uh, just as puzzled as I think anybody else. My father uh, would refer to the Foo Fighters as sort of an example of something that there's something fairly serious that uh, we should look into or, you know, is worthy of investigation, at least uh, supports the idea that there's something going on that we don't understand and we should look into. 